Welcome again to the continuation of the last tutorial. This is your 19th tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be finishing what we started the first time and uh, finishing our form. So as you can see, last tutorial, we made this basic form and we told it, all right, once we give you the information and submit it, go to tester page and perform our task. But as you see, tester page is blank now and it has no task. So let's make something in tester page right now. Let's just copy this and paste it in tester page just because I want that. This is pretty much all I want. I was just too lazy to type it all. So now in tester page, we're going to want to start making a script. So let's start by typing our PHP syntax in. And remember, whenever we submit this it's gonna run this script on tester page why because we told it in our action that's where we wanted to run it so in our PHP script we're, let's just make a real simple output our name we're gonna wanna echo which means output on the screen the variable name but to do this click Pay close attention cut it because it's uh, a lot different than the way we've done before. Since we told the form to use the method post, we're gonna want to tell our script that we're getting the information from our form. So here's how we do that. Put your dollar sign and underscore and type in the word post. This tells PHP that you're getting the information from a form and not a normal variable. If you didn't do this, then it's going to look for the variable on this same page. And by making post, it's going to look for the variable on another page. Now it's going to say, all right, we have post, but what exactly, what a uh, variable do you want to get? And we're going to say, all right, we want to get the name variable. So now, make your square brackets and in your parentheses type in the word name and end it with square brackets this says alright PHP we want to echo something from the form and we want to echo whatever they inputted for name and of course like any other end it with your semicolon and save it now as you can see go to your welcome PHP page refresh oh I'm on tester page that's why so let's go to welcome and as you can see we have a basic form with a simple submit button now let's type in a word for name let's type in Danny now what this is gonna do is going to fill in the word Danny for your input and variable name. Now, whenever we submit it, it's going to output the word Danny. Why is that? Because you said go to tester page and echo the variable that you just wrote in for name. And that's how you use a basic post function when doing forms. And uh, I'll refresh this in the next tutorial and it'll be a lot clearer. But this is a simple way where you can get a bunch of information from a website. And uh, you can use it to either output their name or write it to a database. All you have to remember, the basic thing, under your action, that's where the script's going to be. We're learning post for now. And whatever you name your input for example mine was name that is what your variable is going to be called so study this i hope you enjoyed and uh watch my next tutorial and it will clear things up hopefully thanks